Oh hey, if you love deals and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until you find the right piece of furniture, you might like today's episode. Oh hey, this is Laugh Cry DIY. I'm Katie and welcome to a very special coffee talk about coffee tables. Fun fact, I don't even drink coffee. I am a tea girl all the way. So you guys have been requesting a home tour, but I'm in the middle of refreshing my living room. So piece by piece by piece, I'm tackling a long list of projects that I've wanted to change in my house. And today we are tackling the hardest, the most challenging, the most emotionally draining hunt I've ever been on. And that is for the perfect coffee table. So here we have my current coffee table. It's simple, it's modern, an old DIY. Do you guys remember there was a while back, everybody was doing this Ikea table and putting faux marble on the bottom but it has had a lot of wear and tear. It has chips, it has dings. I'm not really feeling the marble vibe right now. As I've been refreshing my living room, piece by piece by piece, everything in my living room is square and I wanted a round oval shaped coffee table to break that up to introduce some fine, clean, smooth curves and feminine lines. So I knew I wanted a new coffee table, but I was trying to figure out what the right thing would be. For a while, I was obsessed and certain I wanted like a postmodern coffee table, super smooth and organic, but I realized that I kind of do like glass. Then I saw the girls of TikTok and it seems like everybody is scoring these lacquer panther coffee tables from the 70s or 80s and either keeping it as is or turning it a cool color. But those are like thousands of dollars and I wasn't sure if I was ready to commit to full panther when I already have my sweet little baby tiger walking around. And then I became obsessed with the idea of a sort of sculptural brass base coffee table. I wanted something simple, I wanted something beautiful, but I just didn't know what I wanted. So I started scouring the internet, scouring the apps, but I found that a lot of them are insanely expensive. Not to mention what I wanted specifically was an oval shape, a long oval shape. And even within the oval shape, a lot of them were too small for this sofa, like for scale. So clearly I've had a hard few months. And this is real life, right? Like I like slow design. I think it's better to wait for things you truly love. And fortunately the Facebook gods smiled upon me because after months and months and months of waiting, I finally saw the coolest coffee table for $35. All right, you guys, uh, let's talk about my dedication to the cheap whore lifestyle. Number one, it is 7.15 in the morning on a Saturday and I'm about to drive 30 miles for this coffee table. Number two, my car's catalytic converter was recently stolen and I had to get a rental car and I knew I needed to come pick up this coffee table so I had to get a bigger rental car. Don't let anybody tell you I'm not living the lifestyle of a cheap whore. All right, you guys, I picked it up and I was gonna film me putting it in the car but this thing is so heavy. Are you guys ready to see it? This is a glass top coffee table with legs that are elaborately wrapped vines and leaves that spill out, including a fountain of leaves in the middle. And it is silver. And I did not want silver because I'm a gold hoe. Um, so you know I was gonna spray paint it, but when I picked it up and when we started to carry it, I realized this is so heavy, I think it might actually be very tarnished brass. So we have some brasso and we are about to do an experiment to find out if this is actually brass. See how that looks bronze? But then that is silver. What is this, guys? Why don't I know what this is? <gasps> Thank you. Oh, she's toxic. What is this? Okay, so like, no, it's not. It has some sort of coating, but there is a kind of like bronzy vibe here. Um, now, this is the big thing. Should I spray paint this or should I rub and buff it? We know that rub and buff has been my mortal enemy on this channel. I'm not happy with how the rub and buff went on. Did we put rub and buff on them? Yes. Do we like it? No. I did the entire coffee table and I did not like the color, but I'll tell you why rub and buff might be good on this one. Because this has a lot of details, rub and buff is like nice to like bring those out. And maybe I don't all want it like one single solid gold color. Maybe I want a little bit of variation. Maybe it looks more dark and patinaed. I know you at home are so mad at me and I am too. You guys, it's been a week since we last talked. I've had a week to think about this and I am going to do the shocking thing and we're gonna use rub and buff on this. But the one thing we're not gonna do on this channel is use antique gold uh, as the rub and buff. Instead, we're gonna do gold leaf rub and buff 
which hopefully will not be the mortal enemy that Antique Gold has proven herself to be up until this point. Ugh. Light is terrible, angle terrible. Coffee table, stunning. Now, the good thing about Rub and Buff, as we know, is that um, a little goes a long way. Are you guys ready? Okay, we're doing it, I don't care. I'm so happy with this, it's so cool. Um, I love that even the like silver pewter parts that like show through, they are kind of tarnished, so it makes it look like more aged brass. So this is the first, maybe the only time I'm ever gonna say rub and buff for the win. I love all the details on this. I love it so much. I love rubbing, buffing every single intricate, very hard to reach detail. It's my favorite thing. She says she's not solid brass, but she's acting like it. <sighs> By the way, I'm always listening, obviously, to like podcasts and music when I do um, when I do pieces, and then I realize like, oh, should I tell you guys what I'm listening to for each episode? I would highly recommend listening to the Ear Hustle podcast. It's a podcast made by inmates at San Quentin Prison. And it's very interesting and very philosophical and very beautiful, and I've never heard anything like it. Alrighty, now there are some really hard to reach kind of nooks and crannies that are still kind of obviously silver. So now is the time when I have to suffer and go back into the house to find a Q-tip. And now is the time that we find out that there are no um, Q-tips in the house. Um, but if I take a plastic knife, cover it with a paper towel, can I get in there? Is that gonna work? You know what? I actually decided to not even try to film the nooks and crannies. Cause I, I think I'm, I'm emotionally done here. And I think in general, on screen, she's looking great. In real life, with a little zhuzh, she'll look even better. Well, you guys, that was today's lovely episode. I am so happy with this piece. The owner said that it had been sitting in storage forever. She didn't know where her mom had gotten it from. So I love when somebody else's like boring trash becomes my new favorite score. Also, please remember that I looked for a coffee table for like six months. I can be so indecisive and design can take such a long time. So if you guys are frustrated with what you're finding or not finding, be patient, it'll come to you in the right time. But also keep your eyes on apps, keep your eyes on the side of the road, keep your eyes on thrift stores, you never know what you'll find. And while we're on the subject, you guys, please answer. What is the coolest piece of furniture you have in your home? What is the history? What is the backstory? I would love to know. Send me a pic on Instagram at laughcrydiy or email at laughcrydiy at gmail.com. Send me nudes, AKA pictures of DIYs that you've done or are doing. I just love to creep on you guys and see what's going on in your lives. I also have been trying to research this to see if I can find the original manufacturer. So far, one of one, custom made, can't find it at all. But I will say this like intricate vine work to me is very anthropology. Watch them start duping this exact coffee table next season because they saw it on my channel and they're so jealous. And although this coffee table was for $35, one of my best scores of all time, I will say that healing my relationship with Robin Buff was truly priceless. So stay tuned for more like living room home makeover stuff. It's on its way. Am I searching for a new rug? Maybe. Did I just get these throw pillows and then am I so-so on them? Yes. So per use, if you want to like, like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, face your fears. Grab the rub and buff. Heal your soul. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, but I really want this on. Bye.